Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square and welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to add a border to the images inside a gallery section in Squarespace. There are many different types of gallery sections that you can choose, and each one of them has a unique code that we're going to use to add the border. Now, underneath this video, I've listed all of the codes that we're going to use today, but without further ado, I'll go ahead and share my screen to teach you exactly how to add them to Squarespace and how to make them uniquely yours. Let's get started. Here we are inside Squarespace, and I have three different gallery section styles set up on this specific page. I'm going to hop into edit mode to show you really quickly what we're working with here. If we select edit section, this first one is a simple grid. This second one here, selecting edit section, we can see it's a grid strip. And then the last option here is masonry, selecting edit section, I've got grid masonry. You can change these at any time to one of the different layouts, but I wanted to work with those three for this tutorial. And if you're not sure how to add a gallery section, select add section, choose images on the left hand side. And when you look at these sections here, notice this icon. This is an indicator that this is an auto layout, in this case, a gallery section. So I want you to pick one of these. And no matter what you start with, choose the edit section option and select simple strips or masonry to use the codes from this tutorial. Now we'll go ahead and select save and exit. And to add our custom CSS to Squarespace, I'm going to click on pages on the left hand side of the screen. And then I'll scroll down to website tools and then custom CSS. This is where we're going to paste our code. Now the first code I'm going to add says gallery grid item, and I'm gonna open up a curly bracket and I'll say border 5px solid red. And now we have a solid red border around the items inside that specific gallery, but only that specific gallery type. If we scroll down and look at the other images, these are still exactly the same as they were before. We just added that code to this individual gallery here. Now let's say we want to apply it to this strip gallery directly underneath it. All we need to do is change this first part of the code to gallery strips item wrapper and then add our border. And now these images have the unique border, but it's no longer being applied to this section type. Now we've got one more and that's masonry. To update this, replace the word strips with the word masonry. And now these items inside this gallery section will have that unique border. Border codes are very customizable. They're set by width, style, and color. So we can change this. Maybe we want it to be 10px and we want it to be dotted and we'd prefer it to be purple. There we go. Super customized. That's a bit too thick of a border. It's kind of running into itself there. Maybe we'll knock that down to 3px size dots. Definitely a different unique style. Just make sure that you update the selector for each one of these individual items. Let's go ahead and take a second and apply a different border to all three just so you can see the example. I'll say gallery grid item. We'll open up a curly bracket and how about border 5px double orange. Now we've got an orange border at 5px, a double one around these images. Kind of looks like a frame. I like it. Let's move down to this example here. For this, we're going to say gallery strips item spelled correctly. Wrapper. There we go. Open up a curly bracket. And how about 5px dashed blue? There we go. Now we have a unique border for each one of these gallery sections in our Squarespace website. Underneath this video, you'll find all the codes that we just used to make this magic happen in Squarespace. Just make sure that you're working with the right code for the design setting that you've chosen for your gallery section. If you enjoyed this tutorial, give it a like and let me know in the comments and check out some of the related content linked below because I've got a lot more to teach you about all the cool things that Squarespace can do. Thank you so much for watching and most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. When Squarespace design options are starting to limit your creative ideas, there's a pro secret that you should know. Creating your own code for Squarespace is not that complicated. I taught myself how to do it, and now I've taught thousands of Squarespacers around the world how to do it too. If you want to learn basic CSS for Squarespace in less than 20 minutes, head on over to insidethesquare.co forward slash learn. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash learn.